T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Engines full power and lift off. Go Falcon, go Bandwagon 3. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Now at the T plus 32 second uh, moment, we Falcon 9 has lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. We are currently throttling down to prepare for max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic stress. Power and telemetry nominal. On the vehicle, good call out there for power and telem nominal. You can monitor the vehicle's telemetry in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Vehicle is supersonic. Max Q. And there we heard that call out for Max Q. Now coming up shortly, we're going to have several events happening in quick succession. First is Miko or main engine. back chill. Good call out there. First will be Miko or main engine cutoff, where all nine Merlin engines will shut down in preparation for stage separation, which is where the first stage separates from the second stage. Following this, the Falcon 9 first stage will then perform a flip maneuver concurrently with the MVAC engine on the second stage starting up. Then we'll see the start of the boost back burn on the Falcon 9 first stage, followed by fairing separation. So keep an eye out for all of these events happening in about 30 seconds from now. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boot back startup. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we heard those events that happened back to back, which again were main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, second engine start one, the start of the boost back burn on the first stage, and fairing separation. Now we are currently awaiting the conclusion of the boost back burn, which will properly orient the first stage for re-entry into the atmosphere. And the second stage is uh, firing, which you can monitor in the lower right-hand corner of your stage screen. Stage one boost back shutdown. There's that confirmation of first stage boost back shutdown. So the next milestone coming up is entry burn on our first stage, scheduled to occur around the T plus six minute and 30 second mark. Now that boost back burn is complete, Falcon 9 will perform two more burns in order to land. The first of the two burns is entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. You can think of this as similar to pumping the brakes on your car. And without this burn, we'd only be using the atmospheric drag alone to slow down Falcon 9, which adds extra stresses onto the rocket. A single Merlin 1D engine will relight for this particular entry burn. Following the entry burn, the booster will go through its final burn, the landing burn, which should slow the vehicle down even more for a successful land landing. Now, as you can make out on the screen there, Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins, which are positioned near the top of the first stage, and those help steer the first stage as it returns back to Earth. You may also notice the white puffs coming off of Falcon 9, and that comes from cold nitrogen gas, which helps with attitude control. These help to make small adjustments as Falcon 9 heads back to Earth. 
Now when Falcon 9 fires up the center M1D engine for re-entry, the vehicle will be flying through Merlin's exhaust gases, also known as the rocket's plume, which deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle's surface. And you'll see these marks across the flight-proven Falcon 9 first stage fleet. Now the M1D engines on the first stage and the MVAC engine on Falcon 9's second stage are each optimized to perform in their unique operating environments. An M1D engine generates approximately 190,000 pounds of thrust compared to the MVAC engine, which can generate a little bit over 220,000 pounds. The MVAC nozzle extension, which you've seen in the views this evening, is also significantly taller with a larger diameter compared to the M1D engine for optimal performance in a vacuum environment. Now coming up in about 30 seconds from now, we should be hearing that call out for the Falcon 9 first stage entry burn. As a reminder, this booster will be performing this burn for its third time this evening. Stage 2 FTS has saved. And good call out there. This booster previously supported the O3B Empower E mission and the NASA Crew 10 mission. And there's confirmation of that stage one entry burn startup. This burn will last about 20 seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. And that concludes our entry burn. So the first stage has one more burn left to prep for landing. As mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to recover this booster, targeting a landing at landing zone 2, which is not far from our launch pad. Now, the Falcon 9 first stage is equipped with four landing legs, which are made of a carbon fiber with aluminum honeycomb mesh, and these are placed symmetrically around the base of the rocket and will deploy just prior to touchdown of the booster. Now, you may notice the number 3 in today's mission name, indicating that this mission is our... Stage 1, FTS is saved. This mission is our third dedicated rideshare mission to a mid-inclination orbit. Rideshare significantly increases access to space for small satellite operators around the world. Stage one landing burn. Now this is the beginning of Falcon 9's final burn, the landing burn. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirm. And there we have it, another successful first stage landing at landing zone two, making the third landing for this specific booster in SpaceX's 435th landing of an orbital class rocket.